So these are my ideas for possible things to cover in a workshop. First, we start with learning how to incorporate other mediums into your classroom. So instead of just having multiple choice tests all the time, you could incorporate videos or class quizzes and competitions using programs like Kahoot or Quizlet. Kids can work together and it's on their phones and they know how to use it and it ends up feeling more like a game than a quiz, but they learn along the way. Different apps, if um, there's an app that helps kids study for something or learn the different states, that can be a really helpful way for them to learn it. Also, websites, um, showing kids different websites and how they're useful um, for doing research and things like that. And off of that, I think it's important to teach kids how to properly use these resources, specifically when it comes to online resources, because anything could be written by anyone, sort of showing them what a trusted source would be, um, how to check to see if it's a reliable source, if they're getting true facts, or it's somebody's opinion, and also focusing on plagiarism um, to make sure they know how to do research but still use their own words um, and not be taking someone I, someone else's ideas and that includes learning how to make bibliographies and doing citations and things like that. It's also really important to have a unified places for students to find information. It's really hard for kids to look around and if they're at home and say didn't write down their homework having one place where they can go and look so blackboard is an option and Canvas is an option and there's many other options that you could use but it keeps all of your information in one place and they'll always have technology with them so they'll always be they won't have an excuse not to have done the homework another thing is sort of give students the opportunity to teach so learning how to delegate your teaching onto the students because many times students understand how each other are thinking and can better explain it because um, they're coming from the same point of view. This also gives kids sort of a chance for leadership. Um, so sort of guiding kids to maybe do like a little PowerPoint that they show to the class and teach their the rest of the kids in the class about that subject. And it will allow them to have a little bit of leadership and then they feel like they have the knowledge on that and they're able to depart that on the rest of the kids. I think it's also important sort of to understand the differences between traditional um, traditional ideas like doing research with library um, with books versus online research and sort of how they compare the benefits, the downsides to both of them because there is a very difficult like conversation of are they getting away easier because they get to use all these resources, but really it's a great opportunity and it's a lot more convenient. Um, and I think it just opens many more doors for them. So sort of being able to show teachers what works and what doesn't work um, would be really important and sort of eye-opening to see how their willingness to participate in sort of more of a integrated classroom with technology can really help out them and their students.